right, boys and girls and creepy crustaceans. Now we have my fairly dirty Traxxas X Max. It's uh, seen better days. It's not terrible, but it's not clean either. So tired of looking at this gray. Got some got some writ dye, that black uh, black liquid writ dye, and uh, I decided I'm just going to do a full the entire truck tear down, re-oil, clean, and dye some plastic, make the thing look real nice and pretty and clean, let it sit for a while and let's do it. All right, it's all torn apart. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and get the slop sink all filled up with uh, degreaser and soapy water and basically give it a little uh, little bath to soak everything in. Uh, I'm gonna throw all the plastic parts in so I can figure out what's actually gray and what's actually black because that stuff's so covered and I don't want to sort through pictures on Google to figure it out. So I might as well just clean every plastic part at once, pull it all out and then figure out what needs to be dyed. And then, well, oil the bearings, pre-grease everything might throw new fluid in the diffs and the shocks. I don't know. If they're dirty, then I will, but might not need it. It's not that old. So let's get to it. All right, that was about an hour and a half of <clears throat> straight picking parts up, cleaning, setting them down. Time to drain the sink. All right, now, fire up the uh, air compressor and let it build up some pressure. And then we'll get the electronics blown off first because that's obviously the most volatile part um, anything that might have had steel on it, the shocks, uh, the steering gear, the wheels, because they have those steel screws for the bead locks, get all that crap sprayed off, just get all the water off of it, and then I'll start worrying about dyeing the parts, and then do the bearings and reassemble. So now it's time to figure out how to use the uh, rip die and clean out the slop sink a little, slop sink a little bit better, and start dyeing these gray parts. And, Next, uh, we've got our black rip die for the chassis and all the other parts. Got a, I have an idea. Got a big old metal pot. Go and get that filled up with water and uh, start boiling it, and get ready to pour the parts in. Here we have our freaking X Max size pot of water. Now we get her boiling. Got my little helper here. That's how you know it's gonna go right. All right, uh, about 30 minutes later of waiting at this, having it full heat. It's a sort of rolling boil per se, but it'll get warmer as it goes. 
I'm about to toss the Got a good bit of stuff here to die too. We've got the uh, chassis, the brace, the front and rear pieces, the battery hold downs, the shock towers, all this other crap. And I'm gonna try some uh, car parts for my little headliner project too, see how that goes. About ready to put the uh, die in here too. We'll get our die in there. All right, time to check on the first round. See if anything's actually gained some dough. Oh, wow. Oh, it's worked. <laughs> I'm gonna go fish. That didn't work at all. Well, that looks like that's gotta get painted. You know what? I'm gonna grab a shop rag so I can set this stuff on. Sadly, the uh, Mazda Speed 6 uh, <laughs> parts did not work at all, but Luckily, I have a spare, and I don't even think it ruined it anyway, but it didn't work the way I hoped it would. So this, oh yeah, that worked beautifully. All right, I'm going to pull that out because it's going to go, whoop, go right back in. Damn, that worked so well. Where are we going fishing? <laughs> that looks fantastic. All right, so that stuff came out absolutely fantastic. Although this actually has to go back in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, actually. Anyway, actually, let me flip that over. Ooh, cool. Great coverage now. Anyway, you all know what color this thing is from the, from the get-go. It's... Uh, yeah, it, it made a massive, massive difference. And there's like, you know, because I didn't take the battery foams off, but you don't even see those anyway. I don't care. That doesn't bother me any. Or maybe. Well, no, that's, <clears throat> that's adhesive, actually. I should just, just suck it up. Just leave it as it is. And even the dark gray parts, too, like the shock tower piece. Shock tower pieces here just took on a bunch of pigment. And amazingly too, they're not different colors to any visible degree. I mean, they're they're the same, same boil time, same everything, and they came out the same. Pretty impressed. All right, now it's excuse me, about time to flip the uh, chassis over here. I'm sure the question of why the answer is quite obvious. Because only half of it's actually covered. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, learn from my mistakes today. If there's any adhesive residue whatsoever left on your parts, it will show up. I can't see it all that well, but right there, it's like a spotted gray area. Same with the receiver cover. I'm not going to worry so much about this, but that looks like crap, and you will definitely see it because it's in the battery trays. So I uh, cleaned it off to the point that I don't feel it anymore. So I'm going to set this back in there for another uh, five minutes or so and let her eat. And then after that, I can pull the chassis and throw the bulkheads in. But and overall, I mean, it looks really, really great. So much better than stock. Ah, all right. That is much better. Okay. About 
time for me to stick the bulkheads in. All right, I got all the parts dyed, and for the most part, no more water on them all dried off. But I just, for example, use the you know shock tower bulkhead things. They just look so, so good. So much better than the stock gray. And uh, yeah, like I said prior, I definitely would have cleaned off all the foam and adhesives if I had known what was going to happen. But you know, there's still a you can even see it on camera, I hope. There's a smooth, sort of purpley spot there, but it's also, I'm gonna put new foam tape on it anyway, so it's no big deal. But aside from that, it's like the lighter colored parts like these turn out beautiful. Darker colored parts, same thing. Colors, identical. Kind of doesn't really seem to matter how long you leave it in. It doesn't get any darker once it hits that peak. It just kind of plateaus and then everything else darkens. But bulkheads are the last two parts and obviously still a little bit wet but still I mean man what a difference that just kind of goes from that drab gray to just beautiful stealth black worth every bit of time oh my god oh and for the record no it didn't work whatsoever so I'm still stuck having to figure out how to paint these and make it look good and last oh boy so thankfully, I was smart enough to take a bunch of pictures of where, you know, I had all my screws and stuff, my parts arranged before I picked them up and moved them everywhere and cleaned them and everything just to kind of get an idea of what screws go where. Obviously, there's different sizes and different spots, even in the same part. So I'm going to need to refer to the exploded views. Not a big deal. Just so long as I have the right groups, which I do. So got them all arranged based on the pictures. And uh, I decided I'm just going to skip doing the bearings tonight, mostly because... I have several failed Traxxas bearings that luckily uh, Traxxas has replaced. I've got several new ones. They sent them to me for free. So I'm just going to replace those. Um, otherwise, the, the steering gears got brand new ones because they came with a hot racing kit. And it's, I'm probably just going to end up buying a Fast Eddie kit at some point doing the whole damn truck. So do it later. Anyway, without further ado, it is time to assemble. It's all done. That was a lot of work. I'm probably start to finish disassembly, cleaning, dyeing, reassembly, down to uh, it, it's done. Uh, it was 
probably about 10 hours uh, without stopping, but also filming, of course, so it took a bunch of time too, but check it out. I mean, damn, that looks so good. I cannot believe how much making the chassis and really the main beauty parts black, how much of a difference that made on the whole truck. I mean, my God. Just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who got this far in the video. Uh, it's definitely a long one. Well worth it, I'd say, though. Uh, <sighs> been an adventure. Anyhow, thanks for uh, watching the video, and uh, like and subscribe. There will be plenty more RCBS and more real car BS and more shenanigans and more fun guy stuff, as always. Thanks and have a good one, guys.